guys. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. It is the 14th of February. That would be Valentine's Day. We're looking at Flare Network slash Tether. Daily chart. KuCoin is our data. Tradingview.com is the chart on the screen. Getting a nice little move here to the upside for Flare Network. Up 2.93%, sitting right at overhead resistance once again, guys. A couple things on the chart I want to share here as if the markets get a break to the upside today, I think Flare could actually have a nice breakout. A couple things I see on the chart. Overhead target for this breakout basing structure. And then we'll wrap this video up. So what do I have here on the chart that I want to talk about? Well, we have this, if you've been following our flare videos, I have once again, this white line here. I call this my 45 degree line. It's probably not a hundred percent 45 degrees, but it's close enough. It's a wedge. It's basically represents overhead resistance. Take some major highs in this decline here, connect them with a line and looking for a break above it. Well, on the 11th of February, we found resistance at one of our levels, which is 4128. Once again, we got pushed back down on the 12th. You can see that the 12th candle wick pulled up to our line, got pushed back down. On the 13th, guys, important so far anyways, I should say it's an important area on the 13th, which was yesterday, Monday the 13th, was this looks like, so far it is, it's a higher low. So we could be, guys, in a change in trend. We talked about this in other crypto videos. I think we spoke about this in the Flare videos as well, the most recent ones. We're looking for a change in trend, and one of the early early signs is a higher low because what follows a higher low is a higher high so right now it looks like our high let's see that's 4109 on the 11th and then 4131 on the 10th so right now our most recent high is this candle date right here that high is 4131 if we get a break above that high, it could happen today. We have a confirmed change in trend. That would also give us a confirmed breakout. Let me clean this up a bit so we can see what's going on. So that would give us a confirmed breakout plus a change in trend. The confirmed breakout would be above our 45 degree white line here that's running, running sloping down which we are we started to break out today. We are currently sitting basically right at it at 4043. Keep in mind we do have a resistance level at 4128. That's 0 0.04128. This white line right here. You can see the price found resistance at that level perfectly on the 10th of February. Once again, found resistance there on the 5th of February. So as the price moves higher here, assuming it does move higher here. We have resistance at 41.28. And then our, our high here at 41.31. So very close, 41.28 and 41.31 are basically very close to each other. So we'll see if we can get a strong breakout here. That would give us that confirmed change in trend from Let's see, lower high, lower low. Let me rally up here. Higher low so far, and we're waiting for that higher high to take place. So that is what I see here for Flare, potentially in the early stages of that change in trend. Now it's tough with this. You really want to see a close on the candle. So if today starts to break out, to the upside, something like this. Until we get today's candle close, 
it's tough to be 100% confident in that because you can get something like this that takes place where you get a big candle wick, like all day it looks good, and then at the end of the day, they crush it back down to resistance. So I'm not saying you can't buy the breakout, but just keep an eye on it because if they start to crush it down, and then you can see what, what followed here is a decent slope. So if you're looking to get into a position, I should say, you could be looking to buy this breakout. You could look to be buying above our 45 degree resistance line, which is this white line right here. It's basically where we're at right now. We're basically at the line. Or you could be wait, waiting to a break above this high here, which is 4131 on this KuCoin data chart. So that is that. That's the very zoomed in approach as we potentially break out here. Maybe today, that would be great. Bitcoin actually looking like it's finding some support at an important area as well. And if that rallies, that should help flare. This high over here, this is a major level on the 30th of January. A break above that high, guys. A break above that high would take us at least we have a target level, a projected area up here at the, it's actually above this target, but this is an important area at 6070. So our depth of this, of this basing structure here from the 30th of January to the, let's see, the low on the 10th was 3739 and this low was 3740. So from the 30th of January to the 10th of February, the high to the low gets us higher than this green line, but it's very close. It's up here in the low sixes, six cent range. So that is a projection, assuming this base makes its full move to the upside. And on a percentage basis, that would be, let's see, it's adjust the chart here head over to the ruler tool or the measure tool excuse me on trading view from where we're currently trading that would be a 49 percent move and then if you take the high of this it's roughly a 20 it's probably a 25 percent move from that high so basically half of the, from where we're currently trading at now, which would be just around a 50% move to the upside. So that's what I'm seeing personally for Flare Network. I may be wrong, of course, but we are looking for a breakout to take place above the 45 degree line, just like what took place right here. We had our 45 degree line in the early days here of Flare. We had a shakeout on the 26th. Confirmed breakout with a close on the 27th and then the big, big 15% day to take place. Tried to break out pa past this high on the 11th, which took place here on the 30th of January. Pushed back down and now we are in a new basing structure. And this thing has a potential double bottom to it. Now I know double bottoms, if I remember correctly, the second part of the pullback usually wants to undercut this major low here which on the 25th which didn't play take place but this is a higher low so if we have this move down move up this is a higher low and then we're waiting for that like i said earlier that higher high which would be above this high so things are looking pretty good here for Flare. We are long Flare from we're long Flare from 3802 area. We're also long Flare from 3962 area. So we are buying this and holding this for a move higher, looking for a decent move, probably up to that six cent range, which I had mentioned, which is also the depth of this most recent basing structure up here in the six cent range. Now that might be conservative. You might have much higher price targets for flare. 
I totally get it. I understand that. But at least for a portion of our trade, we are going to look at taking some profits there. We do have some flare staking as well over on the Uphold platform. It looks like the APY recently was right around 11%. I'm not going to complain about that. All right, guys. Things are looking good today for Flare. Let's see if we can break out above our 45 degree line. Let's see if we can also break out above our 0.04128 resistance line. If we break above that, that would also give us a higher high confirming a new change in trend. Then we just have to keep an eye for the close and where the candle closes. We want a strong close. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I read all the comments and do the best I can at getting back to everybody who comments. All right, guys, take care.